This is a stub and or a repost and I may end up deleting it because I lose track of things because I'm getting old and stupid. So here we go. <clears throat> to further the process of transformation, even if it brings revolutionary change, is likely to be a long one, absent some catastrophic and catalyzing event like a new Pearl Harbor. It's the only quote people read, they don't read about the history of this. Rebuilding America's defenses, creating tomorrow's dominant force. Section 5, comment. Well, this is obviously official policy from Obama. But he wasn't running the country or involved in anything in 9-11. But let's blame it on him and Hillary. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, in the year 2000, during political debates on the of the war on Iraq, there was a project that was, I mean, this is brought up apparently, there was a project for the New American Century, <clears throat> a 90-page policy report by Thomas Donnelly, Donald Keegan, and Gary Schmidt, and 27 other people. The Project for a New American Century, PNAC, that only existed from 1997, you know, the era of Windows 98, oh, so high-tech, and, and the year 2006. A um, U.S. policy actions after September 11th seem to follow standard neoconservative right-wing nutjob ideology in foreign security policy decisions. Nepotism think tank is the reference you hear about PNAC. I'm not being nice about this group. It sounds like uh, one of those, tell us what we want to hear and we'll pay you more money and you'll be involved in projects and we'll try to legitimize you groups. Anyway, it stopped existing in 2006 apparently. But yes, in there was a quote like that talking about well, creating a new world order, or oh, excuse me, a new Pearl Harbor. Lots of lots of interesting discussions going. Look up all the other crazy crap people talked about. They talked about Windows Millennium too. Anyway, um, but anyway, I digest. Uh, <clears throat> but this was part of rebuilding America's defenses, creating tomorrow's dominant force, Section Five, and it talked about. Um, bringing about revolutionary change I mean this is a single quote nobody else read anything else in it you end up only having this happen when something bad happens the New Deal happened because of something heavy duty um, Pearl Harbor caused the entire country to do some things that were different uh, yeah that's kinda how things disasters drive things forward or backward um, does anybody remember the U.S. Patriot Act? A really stupid thing that was driven by this sort of thing? All sorts of things were. If anybody wants to have any more about this, I can go ahead and do this. But uh, the website in 2001, um, December 17th, on uh, archive.org of it, uh, newamericancentury.org, there's also a Wikipedia article on it, Rebuilding America's Defenses Quote, and Rational Wiki. Because, why not throw that in there? Um, anybody have any comments or information about it, or about the meme about how this is truly very important? Now, I'm going to tell everybody at the four minute mark why I'm doing this. The whole idea with whatabouting and gish galloping and moving goalposts is to keep an idiot busy. But the point is, is that unless this is coming up in somebody's Facebook feed on the ever-rotating wheel of stupid about whatever conspiracy theory is being peddled that week by whatever charlatan, this isn't a subject that comes up very often. People bring it up as a what about? What about PNAC? Okay, so I find the information and it's uh, yet another quote taken from something. It's sort of like the uh, United Nations or some other organization deciding they want to do something but never happens because literally you'd have to get about 80% of the countries on this planet to agree to it and that's never going to happen. It never does. People can't even agree whether or not they want the entire world inoculated or diseases wiped out. 
We can't even get people to decide whether or not we should call a Raspberry Pi a Raspberry Pi. There's arguments under discussions about what color napkins to have in a discussion talking about a war they've got going on. I don't really think this is going to be something that actually is... This was a single comment in a document. Someone looked up and thought it was suspicious and never went after it any further. If anybody knows of anything about this, please post it below. I will not mark it as spam. And if YouTube does, I will mark it as not spam. Because I'm tired of that. It's, I think we should all do that on our inboxes. No matter if it's spam or not, we should label it not spam. Because they're so bad at this. But the reason I'm doing this is... Is this worth me doing a full video about? This isn't a full video. I've only... This was, there's very little to look up. In fact, this is literally the only thing that's brought up about it. The only thing they're known for is this stupid sentence that mentions Pearl Harbor and motivations behind change. Does anybody remember us coming up with a nuclear program really quick because we needed it? Lots of things changed. You want to bring that up? Just saying. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck.